So Azure AI Foundry is Microsoft's flagship product for designing AI agents in the cloud. Uh, there's 1800 models pre-trained on there available already, but you can bring your own models, fine tune those models, and you can deliver end to end the solution all the way from just the prompt engineering to actually delivering an API that, uh, or an end chat that can go straight into your applications. So Microsoft Azure AI Foundry uh, lets you do a lot of experimentation. So you can actually run models in your workflow side by side on the same prompts and the same data sets to see how they perform and compare against each other. You can run tests comprehensively against these at the same time. You can also string different models together to really understand um, what models are the best at accomplishing which different tasks. And you can have them work together in an agentic fashion to actually deliver a really good outcome. Um, and so it gives you this ability to, to test and learn and try these things before you actually need to deploy something to production. So Agenta has a lot of clients in the insurance space, in banking, in healthcare, um, all of these highly regulated. And when it comes to AI, it's really just about governance. It's about ensuring that the inputs and the outputs to these bots um, are well considered. They're not saying things that they, they should be saying. It's about understanding fairness and, and ethical AI use. And uh, Microsoft provides a lot of tools in Azure AI Foundry for controlling that. So you've got the ability to ground bots, you've got the ability to test and learn from them, um, ensure their sort of fairness and biases and, and measure them in, in a real world scenario. Uh, so Microsoft built that into the core of this product. So Ingenta sees a lot of insurance customers uh, making use of AI Foundry in particular retaining organizational knowledge. So as people leave the business, as teams change to different insurance products, as time moves on, a lot of that knowledge just gets lost. Um, and it's a very specialty type of sector. So they're using Azure AI Foundry to retain that organizational knowledge by training agents on you know, 30, 40 years of paperwork, PDF files, anything they can get their hands on. And these agents become essentially insurance underwriting experts and risk experts that the, the businesses can use to ensure the, the quality of the underwriting and make sure that their premiums are fair. So my advice is to, to start small, but start now. Businesses are already on this AI journey. You don't want to get left behind. I think it's really important to, to consider your real practical use cases. Don't just shoot for the moon straight away because you'll get lost in trying to figure out something that, that makes sense and you might spend a lot of time developing something that doesn't actually move the needle for you. Um, so it could be as simple as just turning on Copilot and getting your team trained and improving their productivity and that'll give you ideas for the next stage to create custom agents and then from there you can create more powerful automations or use your AI Foundry to deliver really complex AIs. Um, Microsoft's putting a ton of funding into this at the moment which you might be eligible for so definitely recommend getting in touch with us and, and seeing what's available and uh, seeing how we can help you. Mm -hmm.